Okay, happy Friday, guys. Um, this is your daily draw. Um, for Friday, we're going to celebrate and use the eight coins tarot. Now, I go ahead and pull one um, just to help keep it shorter. But also, this deck is so big and my tiny, teeny little hands. Um, I kind of struggle to get a good pull on it. It's also very new, so it's like so, so slick. Um, okay, but Ace of Pentacles... I, I know some people get upset when you, like, don't shuffle on camera. And I'm like, look, guys, I'm, I don't really think I'm coming up with any, like, crazy, elaborate stories here. Um, I mean, I could tell you stories in my life you would think were made up. So, um, okay. All right. Okay. We have, um... Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Who is this upside down? I'm sorry. This is a new deck for me. I, I've only used it once in a live, and you guys know I need to stop trying to use the new decks in lives because I just, I, I fumbled. They, they don't, you know, completely r resonate with me yet, so... Um, and then go figure, I sat on that plant tarot forever and then finally used it. And it was like, it really made tarot sink into me like tenfold more because I know plants. I, I'm not an expert, but I, I digress. This is the eight coins. Um, this, uh, chick is a, a tattoo artist. She designed her own deck. Um, it, it's very cool. So two of pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. This would be twice we got the Ace of Pentacles this week. And the Ten of Wands. So I don't know if this is incoming balance or you've been struggling to find your balance. Um, I was going to use the... Well, it's all I have out here is the Rebel, um, Rebel Deck Oracle. Um... But that Ten of Wands is burdens. And so you guys know, I'll say, if you have a lot going on, if you're very successful and you have a lot on your plate, you know, that Ten of Wands isn't always a horrible to me. But in this case, you can see um, that bird is uh, had the crap be out of it. It's losing feathers. It's falling from the sky. So I don't know if you're in balance. You're, you're not in balance. Um, you know, and as much as roles can be reversed, I think the cards can also, uh, tell the story in reverse, you know, maybe you're, if you're sitting in, um, 10 of wands energy right now, you know, maybe the ace of pentacles is going to bring you in the two of pentacles. However... Because life can't be positive and happy every day. And you guys know I hate a negative reading. Well, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll give you this fourth card in a second here. You know, you could be seeking balance and whatever you, whatever appears to be your Ace of Pentacles could end up, you know, beating you know, the feathers off of your wings, so to speak. So, you know, do be careful and use discernment. However, I wanted to spit that out because I said it. However, this card came out. And, and here I was worried the Rebel deck was not a wise choice. I just thought, look, look to profile, to profile the type of people that would love the tattoo tarot and personalities um if you watched me you know more than once i i often do like a little background um steve's love tarot would call it kitschy shit i don't mind um i i like to use certain decks together i like things to you know aesthetically match you know when i'm when i'm throwing tarot cards um so I just thought the the rebel deck you know oracle with attitude would pair nicely with our tattoo cards 
Um, but it, it does say uh, make it rain. So maybe you guys are going to get, maybe you're sitting in the, the ten of um, the ten of wands and, and the ace of pentacles is going to come in and, and bring you your, your two of pentacles. Um, also, as I was still playing with the cards, um, if one comes out, I, I like to read it. Um, love, get some, give some, it will cheer your ass up. And I, I will say also, you know, pentacles, um, Pentacles are often associated with dollars, but again, it's, it's, it's health, wealth, um, energy, you know, putting good energy out into the world, even when you feel burdened, will karmically come back to you in a good way. So, um, give always, you know, don't give beyond your boundaries, um, but you know, even when I'm completely down and out, I do always seem to find a way to, to give to others, whether it's, um, you know, if, if I am, um, you know, flat broke, if it's, uh, broke be Thursday, as I refer to it, you know, for a long time. And, and so m maybe if I'm not working, um, you know, then I will give someone else my time, you know, and, and it always comes back to me because then, you know, maybe I didn't work this week, but then I, I went and helped someone else do something at their house. Um, and then, you know, someone else brings me, um, groceries. So it, it's that give and take. And I, and I love that I just saw 707. Um, and you guys know, I'm not a clock watcher generally on the it's not often you'll hear me mention the time the, the, when the clock is ticking. So, um, so yeah, so very give, give and take, you know, um, but for you, this was probably, this was probably more dollar pentacle with that, you know, ending, ending Oracle there. So um, best of luck. So, you know, obviously if, if some shiny new offer is being presented to you, um, of course use your, your discernment and, um, and hopefully you're just someone who's already in the, well, I, I don't hope that on you, but if, if you are finding yourselves in the Ten of Wands energy. Hopefully this is your, um, you know, Ace of Pentacles on the horizon. So also, you know, if, if this, you know, Ace of Pentacles that seems like it's going to be balanced turns into this, just remember, um, Sometimes really crappy things happen for reasons, as they say. Um, I said it in literally just the yesterday's daily draw that will be posted is um, in times where I went and had this new job that I thought was going to be my financial, you know, freedom or good things coming to me. And the job ended up ending in two weeks and I'd completely uprooted my life, left my apartment put all my stuff in storage, moved across the state with my child during a pandemic, switched to schools, and that job closed two and a half weeks later. It was horrible. It was traumatic. I left um, a bunch of my really nice, not, it wasn't expensive. It was hand-me-down, but it was nice, big, solid wood furniture. So then we didn't have dressers for almost two years. Um, the new rule of thumb is if I can't carry it myself, we don't own it. Um, but I will tell you now, I ended up like manifesting, quite literally manifesting um, my entire new bedroom. And is it, you know, brand new Homemakers Nebraska Furniture Mart or wherever furniture? No. But I said, man, I'd really like to have two white wicker dressers. And, you know, the magic 
Ace came in and I was at a thrift shop one day and they were like near perfect condition, two white wicker dressers and one was $30 and one was 40. So it, that was a gift. That was a manifestation. You know, it, it, it very much was, um, even found a mirror that I was like, Oh, I've always wanted one of those mirrors. Um, to drag on for a second, I will tell you, um, I may not be the best tarot card reader in the world. I'm okay with that. I have literally drawn the places that I have lived and lived there years later. Um, I have drawn one place and literally like done the little bubble out of the mouth and then moved there and literally heard someone say that say what I had written, written. Um, and when I left the, the last place, like I told you guys that I had moved across the state, um, and, and came back and I was supposed to be moving into one house and it was like, I knew that that wasn't really going to happen. And I came back anyways, because I kept seeing this porch with these plants on it. I mean, I saw the porch and I tell you, I moved into this house probably like a year, almost a year after I was supposed to go to a different house and I look out, I have so many doors in this house. Um, not that it's big, it's just a really long ranch. Um, and I look out the second door one day and I look down at the porch and I go, like it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, OMG, this is literally the porch I saw in my visions. So you never know what's going to happen. And has it been an easy, you know, perfect unicorn ride living here? No. But I'm sure grateful to be sitting here and talking to you guys today and working on my other channel and I'm going to work with a friend tomorrow and I used to get so upset about being shuffled around all the time until I looked back at my journey and realized that like had I not been, had all those tragic things not happened, certain really amazing things and amazing people and amazing lessons never would have been experienced. So you never know. So anyways, if you're, if your ace of pentacles is supposed to be your two of pentacles and it ends up, you know, beating you like that crow and knocking your feathers off, you know, being the 10 of wands, just know that on the other side of that, it was, it was all probably for a reason. Um, and you'll end up, you know, finding your season. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, happy Friday. And um, since this will go out on Friday, um, I will hopefully be doing a, a live Saturday night with the new webcam. And I've hopefully got my phone upgraded to the point where we can do nice um, live streams again. So I had to take a couple weeks off because I was out of data and it was costing me 20 bucks every time I did a live that two people were watching. Um, <laughs> but one of the people watching, like who is my biggest supporter, um, friend is like probably my only friend, um, that watches the channel because no one I know is in the tarot. Um, sent me that webcam. So we like, Oh, this man alive this weekend. So, um, thanks a lot guys. Sorry. This one was long winded and I was trying to keep these short. And originally I was trying to do these daily draws as, as short 60 second videos, but, um, I'm not sorry. Cause I actually just had a lot of fun. I'm filming the Monday through Friday. So, um, thank you and best of luck. <laughs>